I mean, aside about the proximity, um, explosive. Uh, so if anybody walks across that, they'll explode. Excellent. Is it gonna happen? We shall see. He knows you under that great. <laughs> or he at least suspects it. Indeed. Can you pull him in? No. They didn't add cool stuff like that in this game. I think that was in uh, Arkham City when they first started doing that. Because I think in this game, you want, your only stealth option really is to get behind them and do a stealth takedown. Okay. Take him down. Oh, never mind. They climb really well. Indeed. Smokey esque. Do they still see me? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> 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 and now that is an epic win. Indeed. So, has anything interesting happened yet? Not really. Or you just restarted your subscriptions, I, basically. Well, yeah. Or your well, I, re I re enabled all my accounts. And. I decided to look and see if there are any apps that I haven't heard of yet to try. So there were a couple that I logged on to. But um, no real prospects yet. Um, I did see some absolutely horrifying creatures, though. <laughs> like, I wanted to take screenshots of them, but I didn't think of it at the time. But they were, they were absolutely terrifying. Like, like, I don't like to make fun of people's appearances, but, I mean, wow. It's like... <laughs> Jeez, dude. You wouldn't believe. You would, You seriously. <laughs> well, then. Indeed. Oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> I gotta start taking uh, screenshots and sending them to you whenever I come across. Well, they did that at CP Cabin, too. Yeah, indeed. So. It'll, it'll be interesting for the Tinder update. <laughs> I'll save my... Uh, I'll save them, I won't send them to you. I'll, I'll just save them for the Tinder update and then show you during the Tinder update. <laughs> Excellent. So are those, are those people that you got somewhat matched with? Or are they well, just randos that you were scrolling through? Like, they're usually randos based? because most of the time with dating apps, they they just have like a... Some of them will have like a, um, like a ranking, like, oh, we think you'd be matched good with this person. And then most of the time it's just this person sort of matches with your stuff sometimes and then they're also within a certain proximity of you. And um, but yeah, you can change your criteria and stuff like that too. It, it, all, it also depends on the app. Yeah, that makes sense. Frame rate. No, that was just epic effects. Yeah. <laughs> As you said last time. Indeed. Yeah, so that should be an interesting adventure. Indeed. You could just, uh, instead join the, a roleplay server. <laughs> Indeed. Nyak <laughs> onisei. <laughs> actually some Fedora Lord. Indeed. But I guess that could technically happen on all the any app too. That's true. Catfished. I have not been catfished yet, but I am fully prepared for it to happen. Well, you only had one opportunity to be catfished. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> and I assume it's less common than it's. It, you're more likely to get a reel than a, a catfish. I yeah, assume. I think so. Yeah. It, it's pretty easy to spot fake accounts too, for the most part. Yeah. Like. Plus, the, the fake accounts usually have thoughts in the picture, and I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I can, I'm not interested in thoughts, of course. Yeah. So. Yeah, it'll be like Svibinky, Svibinky, twenty ninety or something, mm -hmm. and it'll just be like this girl, like oh, or like a bikini, and her, and her butt will be like the size of fifty percent of her body or something. <laughs> I get those on Instagram all the time. Yeah. I got so annoyed that I I put my account to private. Yeah. So I did that a while ago too because I was also getting annoyed with all the fake accounts. And that's that's so stupid that there isn't like better ways to prevent that that 
they haven't implemented or anything because that's literally the only reason mm-hmm. so i wasn't afraid of people seeing my stuff or anything but it's just like, it's like children, these bots are just overwhelming yeah. not that i was getting like a million a day but it's, it's just... like i never go on instagram so i get like a, a notification I'm like whoa what happened and mm-hmm. it's like a porn bot i'm like oh boy mm-hmm. and then they like they're still liking all my photos and then it's like my mom, my grandma, and Pornbot720 like my photo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh boy. <laughs> so. And then, so I probably did my account, and now it, there's this thing called like, groups on Instagram, and it's like Pornbot720 added you to this yeah, group. Yeah, I guess it's that like, too. Oh, <laughs> there's no escaping it. Indeed. I feel like people talk about Facebook being a cesspool and sometimes Twitter. I feel like Instagram's the ultimate cesspool. <laughs> it's the worst. Mm-hmm. There's no spam filters. There's. They just have all these bot accounts. It, it's just like, I don't know. It's a disaster in my opinion. Yeah. There's much good to be found on Instagram too. Oh, sure, lot, lots of titties that you want to see. Indeed. But Twitter will, is still still holds strong as my favorite social media. Mm-hmm. It's because they're all the Fire Emblem fan, art, fan artists are. So. Indeed. I actually created an album on my phone for Tharja, and I've been saving all the Tharja photos I can find now. Excellent. <laughs> so I can one day make my shrine. Mm-hmm. And sacrifice uh, my firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best to make a human transmutation. To make, yeah, make a transmutation circle. Yeah, to make Tharja Summon Tharja. <laughs> Summon her spirit into the body of your firstborn. <laughs> That's going to be real weird. <laughs> <laughs> now is that considered incest? Yes, I yeah. guess that incest is biological. Indeed. Not mental. You need to stop this now. Before it goes too far. Too late. <laughs> I would love if he was just standing in the hallway and he just exploded himself. <laughs> Suicide bomb himself. Yeah. But not with anyone near him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just turned around like, hey, bats. <laughs> <laughs> That's I would love if there was like a one in a, a thousand chance or something for something weird like that to happen mm-hmm. where... The main baddie just like suicides himself. Yeah. The game ends. <laughs> oh. That would be pretty epic. I also like how they have little lights in these uh these uh, air ducts. Yeah, it's very convenient. Yes. <laughs> Don't like the way. Mm. This is a huge asylum. Indeed. And no one's in it anymore. At least not contained. Ooh, that's deep, bro. <laughs> Asylums are pretty, pretty interesting settings. Yeah, you don't see them that often, actually. Yeah, and there's some pretty cool games set in them, like Arkham Asylum, of course, and uh, Alice. Madness Returns is set in the. Uh, an asylum, mm-hmm. partially. Call of Cthulhu is set in an asylum, par- partially. Which is actually, a, I, would, I say, a pretty underrated game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Never played it. It's it's pretty uh, recent, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of like Telltale-esque, except your decisions actually matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Obviously, so you make lots of decisions and stuff. And it's kind of Fallout-esque in a way, too, where, like, you... It, you have like RPG esque stats, and you have to proc certain ones depending on what kind of build you're going for. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, you're better at fighting, so you're able to get out of the scuffle, and not get captured. So the story changes there, or uh, you went to school for like uh, Cthulhu shenanigans or whatever. So you mm-hmm. were able to decipher this text and learn something different. So. It's different stuff like that. And the the graphics on it. Oh jeez. I was only just punched them in the balls. It feels like that happens far too often for it to be a coincidence. <laughs> Indeed. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, right up the butt. 
Jeez. <laughs> I'd hate to be doggy punched to death. <laughs> Uh, that'd be the most epic way to go out, be donkey punched to death by Batman. <laughs> you would be immortalized, dude. <laughs> you just record that for some fetish website. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's like, is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be epic. <laughs> There's another one, Bob. <laughs> Call a <the> coroner. <laughs> Some of the animations are kind of janky, Call mm -hmm. Cthulhu, though. I like the art for Poison Ivy there. Yeah, I was about to mention when you uh, blasted past it before. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, bruh. Bruh. We need to see this. Bruh. 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 I can't do it very well. Bruh. 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 I can't impersonate things at all, though. Yeah. Mine isn't very good either. 